Hi, so this is a, a quick update video on my marriage situation. We're getting divorced. Yep, I know no one's surprised. Everyone knew that this was going to happen, but we are getting divorced. And it's mainly because my wife said that she can't trust me anymore after what she saw on the SD card. She said that she couldn't be in a relationship with me anymore and she wouldn't be able to trust me anymore. So she decided that we should get divorced and I just said okay and I don't really know how we're going to do it she just said I'll contact you again about the details of how we're gonna do it I'm not gonna fly all the way to Japan just to sign some papers that's way too much money too much time and I don't really want to go all the way to Japan just to go and get divorced so I don't know if she'll be able to do it by herself without me or maybe she could send me the documents that I need to sign by mail and then I can send it back to her. I'm not sure. I mean, what, what would happen if I refused to sign? Would we just be married forever? She must be able to get divorced without me. Otherwise, what would happen if I couldn't sign or I refused to sign? I'm not saying I'm going to refuse to sign, that would be stupid. If she wants to get divorced, then then so do I. I mean, there's no point fighting it. <laughs> there's no point trying to um, convince her not to divorce me. I think that getting divorced is the best thing for us because you might not know this, but the marriage, the relationship hasn't really been a very happy relationship. We've had... A lot of arguments, a lot of fighting. Um, I ran away from her several times, so pretty sure you'll know by now that it hasn't been um, sunshine and rainbows. It hasn't been a very happy marriage. I'd say most of the time it was happy, but then there were a lot of times when um, it was just a big mess. And, you know, sometimes when you're building a shed and it, it's just a big mess and it's all wonky and there's nails sticking out of it, instead of trying to repair it, you know, the best option is to just burn it down and then build a new one. I don't really have anyone to blame for it apart from myself. She didn't really do anything wrong, it was mostly my fault. And maybe if I was happy with the marriage then I wouldn't have messed, messed it up like I did. But... That's why I messed up, because I wasn't really happy with it. And from straight from the beginning, I was already regretting it. But I didn't have the guts to, I didn't have the guts to put my foot down and say no and stop things when I knew I should have. And I just kind of got dragged along. And I was too cowardly to say no and to express my opinion. And this is what happened. And that's it really. You won't see her again on this channel. I'm not going back to Japan anytime soon. Eventually I will go back because, you know, I'm not going to stay here forever. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a journey, a bit of an adventure. But I'm, I'm kind of relieved that it's over now. Uh, that entire year last year just feels kind of like it was a waste. I wish I could come. I wish I could have just came home last year. Then I could have seen my dad. I could have seen my cat. And I really didn't want to go back to Japan after Christmas. I felt, uh, I felt so depressed after Christmas and we had to go back to Japan. And I was actually kind of happy that I got to come back here. <laughs> uh, even though, um... Things didn't turn out too well for my dad. So I hope you don't mind if um, I start making videos in England for a little bit. It won't be forever. I will go back to Japan or some other country. So don't feel as though I'm never going to make Japan content ever again. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens later on in the year when... Everything settled down and I've become less emotional about my dad and I'm sure I'll start to feel very bored with this lifestyle and, you know, I'll start 
getting the itch, the itch to go and travel again. Got my stuff, my belongings in Japan. I don't think I'm gonna go and get them. Mainly because I, I can't be bothered to fly all the way there just to get my stuff. Uh, I didn't really have that much anyway. I just had my gaming laptop, which cost nearly $2,000. And I had my iPad, iPad Pro, which is a few years old now. I guess she could sell them if she needed money. Uh, I'm not really that bothered because I have I have a computer over there. The only thing I would like her to send me back would be my black messenger bag. You know that black bag I always carried across my shoulder? My dad bought me that um, nine years ago. Before, before I went to Japan for the first time, he bought it for me so I could use it in Japan and it has sentimental meaning to me, even though it's a, it's a pretty scruffy looking old bag. Uh, it'd be nice if she sent that back to me, or maybe I should just let go of it, stop feeling so attached to, to things. So yeah, in conclusion, we're getting divorced. This isn't clickbait. It's not going to be another one of those situations where I say, I'm leaving my wife and then I go back to her the next week. No, it is officially done. We're officially finishing it. And I'm a bit, a bit sad about it, I guess. But I'm also a little bit excited because you never know what the future might hold. You know, when, when you crash your car and it sets itself on fire and it explodes. You can always get a new car, and, and your new car might be even better than your, your car. You, you know, you never know. Sometimes forests burn down, and then a new forest grows out from the ash. You know. Always look on the bright side, is what I like to say. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Daniel. Today is going to be a little bit different, since it's a nice sunny day today I thought we'd come outside and do some cooking so I made this little contraption out of sticks let me show you it's very simple it's just sticks stuck into the ground and I've made a little grill on the top here I think it's strong enough should be strong enough to hold some bacon and the plan is I'm gonna light a fire in the middle and then put the bacon on the top and hopefully it should cook the bacon. I'm not sure. I've never done this before. So here's my my grill. I think it's pretty good. It's raining. Oh no. But it was so sunny just now. Look, it's hailing. Oh, why does everything go wrong? Okay, I'm gonna light the fire now using my my brand new electric lighter, it's pretty cool. Can you see that? Okay, let's light, light the grill. Ah. <laughs> it's raining! <laughs> Look at this. It's hailing so much, but my fire must carry on. Come on. Oh, 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 we have fire. Oh, it's catching, it's catching. Fan the flames. Yes. Yes.
Okay, so the main problem is it's not hot at all on top of the grill. The fire needs to be a lot bigger, but it's not really catching. Um, and everything's wet now because of the hailstones. So I think I'm just going to give up for today and we'll try again next time.